Mazda CEO has made a shocking claim. Their new rotary engine will destroy the electric vehicle industry. But is this a revolutionary comeback for a legendary engine? Or just a desperate gamble on a failed technology? In the next 30 seconds, we're breaking down how Mazda plans to fix an engine infamous for failing seals and guzzling oil, and whether it can realistically challenge the instant power of a Tesla. We've got the specs, the secret strategy, and the final verdict on whether this engine is the future or a relic of the past. If you believe the future of the automobile is worth debating, do yourself a favor and subscribe to Electric Vehicle Empire. You won't want to miss what's next. The legend, the failure, and the audacious comeback. The automotive world is rushing towards an all-electric future, with giants like Tesla, Ford, and even Chevrolet setting the pace. So why is Mazda looking backward? Why are they pouring millions into reviving the Wankel rotary engine, a design they abandoned over a decade ago due to massive flaws? The answer isn't simple. The rotary engine is a legend. It's the engine that powered the iconic Mazda RX-7 to stardom, a machine beloved for its high revving, smooth power delivery from a compact, lightweight package. It was a cult classic, a masterpiece of engineering that for a time felt untouchable. But the legend had a dark side. The follow-up, the RX-8, was the beginning of the end. The cracks started to show. These engines burned oil by design, their apex seals wore out notoriously fast, leading to compression loss, and they produced emissions so toxic they were eventually banned from the market. In 2012, Mazda officially pulled the plug. The rotary was dead. Until now. Mazda claims they have solved the impossible. They believe they have resurrected the rotary, not just as a niche engine for enthusiasts, but as a weapon to take on the entire EV industry. To understand how, we first need to dissect what went so horribly wrong. Anatomy of a failure. Why the original rotary died. The genius of the rotary was its simplicity. Instead of pistons flying up and down, a triangular rotor spins inside an oval-shaped chamber. This design has only three major moving parts, making it incredibly smooth, compact, and capable of producing immense power for its size. However, this unique design was also its Achilles heel. The number one killer was the apex seals. These are tiny metal strips at the three tips of the rotor. They are the equivalent of piston rings, and they had to maintain a perfect seal against the chamber wall while spinning at thousands of RPM. They wore out incredibly fast. As they failed, the engine lost compression, power dropped, fuel economy tanked, and cold starts became a nightmare. The second major flaw was the oil system. To keep those apex seals lubricated, the engine intentionally injected oil directly into the combustion chamber to be burned along with fuel. This led to that classic two-stroke-like smell, but more importantly, it resulted in massive carbon buildup and terrible emissions that couldn't meet modern standards. Finally, there was heat. The rotary engine generates an intense amount of heat in a very concentrated area of the engine block. The original designs had poor cooling, causing the engines to slowly cook themselves to death, warping internal components and accelerating seal wear. These three issues, sealing, oil consumption, and heat, turned a brilliant concept into a corporate nightmare. So how has Mazda addressed each of these fatal flaws for its 21st century comeback? The Resurrection Engineering the New Rotary Inside Mazda's Hiroshima headquarters, engineers have been working on this project since 2013. Their goal, to build an engine that would bury the competition, including Tesla. First, they tackled the apex seals. The new engine features wider seals made from advanced, tougher materials. More importantly, the housing they rub against is now treated with a high-tech ceramic coating and carbon-infused alloys. This drastically reduces friction and heat, promising a seal that lasts not just for a few years, but for the lifetime of the vehicle. Next, they completely re-engineer the oil system. The new rotary will use an advanced AI-controlled digital injection system. This software monitors the engine's needs in real time and injects the absolute minimum amount of oil required at precisely the right time. No more waste, no more excessive burning. 
They are even testing a system that recycles oil vapor back into the engine for maximum efficiency, directly targeting the emission problems of the past. To conquer the heat problem, the new engine block has larger, more efficient cooling channels. It will circulate a hybrid organic acid coolant supercharged with silicate additives and nanoceramic particles. Over time, these particles create a microscopic heat shielding layer inside the engine, allowing it to withstand higher temperatures and high-speed driving without breaking a sweat. The real strategy, not a Tesla killer, but a range extender? Here's the biggest surprise. Mazda's primary plan isn't to drop this engine into a pure sports car to fight a Model S Plaid head-on. Instead, the new rotary engine is being deployed as a range extender for their hybrid and electric vehicles. Think about it. The rotary engine is small, light, and incredibly smooth. This makes it the perfect onboard generator. It won't power the wheels directly. Instead, it will run at a constant, optimal speed, the speed where it is most fuel efficient and produces the fewest emissions to charge the car's battery. This eliminates the stress and high RPMs that killed the old engines. It gives drivers the freedom of a gas-powered car with no range anxiety, while still offering the smooth, instant acceleration of an electric motor for city driving. However, Mazda is keeping its options open. They have a second prototype in testing, a more powerful direct-drive twin-rotor engine expected to produce over 300 horsepower. This is the engine that could power the much-rumored RX-9, a true spiritual successor to the RX-7. But even with this powerful version, can it really destroy the EV industry? Reality Check – Facing the Electric Giants Let's be clear, the EV market is a brutal battlefield. Tesla's Model S Plaid, a car that is already several years old, does 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds. The fundamental problem for any combustion engine, rotary or not, is that it cannot produce the instant torque of a powerful electric motor. A pure EV will almost always win a 0 to 60 sprint. The competition is fierce everywhere you look. The Ford Mustang Mach-E and Chevrolet Bolt EV have captured the affordable end of the market. Lucid Motors is dominating the luxury long-range space with over 500 miles on a single charge. Companies from Volkswagen to BMW already have mature, powerful EV platforms. So how can Mazda possibly win? The destroy the EV industry line is marketing genius, but the real strategy is much smarter. Mazda isn't trying to out-Tesla Tesla. They're planning to carve out their own niche by offering something pure EVs can't. They will focus on what they do best, building lightweight, agile, and fun-to-drive cars. The RX-9 won't be marketed on raw acceleration, but on superior handling and a connection to the road that many heavy, battery-laden EVs lack. By making the car compact and affordable, they can appeal to city dwellers and price-sensitive buyers who are hesitant about the high cost and charging anxiety of pure EVs. The Verdict Will Mazda destroy the EV industry? No, that's pure hyperbole. But could this new rotary engine be a massive success? Absolutely. By playing to its strengths, compact size, low weight, and smooth operation, as a range extender, Mazda can solve the biggest problem plaguing EV adoption, range anxiety. And by launching a true next-generation rotary sports car like the RX-9, they can reignite the passion of a loyal fan base and attract a new generation of drivers who crave something more than just silent, straight-line speed. Mazda isn't fighting the EV revolution. It's finding its own unique place within it. And that might be the smartest move of all. What do you think? Is the rotary engine's comeback a genius move, or will it fail all over again? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please hit that like button and subscribe to Electric Vehicle Empire for more deep dives into the future of automotive technology. Thanks for watching.